welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm gonna be doing a challenge and I'm gonna be doing my full face of makeup using only cotton so I'm gonna be using cotton balls cotton rounds q-tips and that is how I created this whole entire look Yes, girl. <laughs> I know that a lot of the full face using only challenges sometimes are not practical, but I feel like for this video, it kind of touches home because it is practical in some sort because there's people that cannot afford makeup brushes and literally cotton pads and Q-tips cost a dollar. So you don't need any you know fancy, expensive brushes to be able to slay your face. And this is what I wanted to show you guys because I remember back then I only had had one makeup brush and with that eyeshadow brush I would do everything so I wanted to show you guys that you do not need expensive stuff to be able to beat your face and look bomb so there's no excuses you guys just have to practice so if you want to know how I got this look using only cotton just keep on watching okay so I'm gonna get started and I am so excited to actually do this I've been thinking it over and over on my head how am I even gonna pull this off but I think I have an idea so I really really hope that it comes together I'm gonna be doing everything that I normally do to my makeup except I have zero brushes in front of me first I'm gonna start off by prepping the skin with the Mario Badescu rose water I'm gonna be priming my skin with the Tarte poreless mattifying primer for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220. So for this part, I'm going to be using cotton balls. And what I'm going to do, I feel that if I use them dry, it will suck up the product or it's just going to like stick on my face. So I was thinking to probably dip them in water. They're like little tiny ones. So what I'm going to have to do with this so they could blend together is kind of spread them apart and then make them into a big ball. Okay, so this is what I got just a wet cotton ball I'm gonna try to build something like flat and not with ridges because then it will you know transfer onto our face so I'm gonna be applying the foundation and we'll see if this works out yes beauty blender work oh I mean it doesn't give you you know the airbrush effect that the beauty blender does but it works oh and it works good <laughs> My beauty blender is falling apart. Oh my gosh. No, stay. Stay together. Okay, so definitely it wastes a lot of product. Normally with the amount that I just applied on my hand, I would be able to fill up my whole face. And right now, I've only done half of the face. So that's not good. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be applying my concealer. And I'm just going to be applying it with the wand because that's what I normally do. And then I'm going to go ahead and then blend it out with the cottons. Now I'm just going to start blending it out. Oh my god, hopefully it blends. Oh. I think I'm going to have to go back in again with the concealer and then do it again since the cotton soaks up so much product. Okay, so definitely with the second layer, now it's starting to look better. Okay, so this is what I got with the foundation and the concealer. It doesn't look bad. To powder my face and to bake underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using the cotton rounds. So I'm going to go ahead and start baking the face. Hopefully this sticks to the... Oh yeah, yay! Okay, hopefully this works. Yes! Okay, I'm feeling so much better about this now. I was thinking that probably I struggled way too much and I should have just done my foundation with this. Like, what was I thinking? But, you know, it worked. <laughs> so this is applying the powder really, really good. The baking is done. Now I'm gonna go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder in NC30 and I'm gonna be applying with another clean one all over the face. Yay, that's working too. Yes, these little puffs are making the foundation look great now. So after I powdered my face, I'm going to go ahead and start with the eyebrows. Oh, I am so excited for the eyebrows. I ended up buying these multi-purpose kind of applicators. So the ones that I got was this like little pointy one. It has like a little tip on the end. And then on the other side has a flat brush. 
we could say. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the tip of this to do my eyebrow. I am so excited to see if this is going to work out. I'm excited. I'm going to be using my Anastasia pomade in the shade Soft Brown. And I'm just going to go ahead and dip in with a little Q-tip, just like that. And just start carving out my eyebrows like I normally do it. So this little pack of Q-tips, I found them at Rite Aid for $2.99 and it comes with 80. So that is really, really good. Pray for me. If you guys want an in-depth tutorial on eyebrows, yes. I just uploaded one on my channel like two weeks ago. <laughs> so towards the front, I'm just gonna start feathering it in. Yay! It worked! Oh my god, yes! Okay, so I went ahead and finished up this eyebrow. I carved it up with concealer, so I'm going to show you guys how I did that. So I put some concealer on the back of my hand, took the flat side of the little Q-tip, and I'm just going to start carving it out with this side of the flat-ended side. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using regular Q-tips. So what I'm going to be doing to blend out my eyeshadow first is I'm going to start pulling out the little Q-tip and start making it a little bit fluffy. After you're done pulling it, this is how it should be looking like. So I'm going to be taking a raw sienna and burnt orange from the Modern Renaissance palette. So the reason why I even had this idea, oh yes, was because... One day I went to my in-laws and my mother-in-law wanted me to do her makeup and she didn't have her brushes with her and she was gonna go to a very special event. So I was like, you know what? I think I could do it without any brushes. And I started doing her makeup with Q-tips and it came out bomb. I couldn't even believe I was able to blend out her eyeshadow that well. And then my babe was like, you should make it into a challenge. You should try doing your whole makeup with cotton. And I was like, that is an amazing idea actually do you guys see how well that blending is so now i'm going to be switching to a very clean blending q-tip and i'm going to start blending out the edges a little bit oh yes <laughs> i really missed filming for you guys i know i was gone for like almost two weeks i got really really sick last week and I'm barely getting out of it like maybe you could still hear it in my voice that I sound like a man a little bit but I had a really bad cold and my cough was like out of control I couldn't even speak without coughing like every five seconds so that's where I've been very sick but I'm getting better now so now I'm gonna be taking the regular side of the q-tip and I'm gonna be applying a little bit of red ochre on the outer corner V of the eye Kind of tapping it, bringing it in a little bit towards the center and then in the inner corner. Going back in with this, with no product at all, I'm going to start blending this out. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit more of red ochre on the edges. I'm going to do the other side really quick and then we're going to move back to this side. I finished up the other side. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Cypress Umber and I'm gonna be applying it with the regular side of the Q-tip and I'm packing it on the outer corner and a little bit on the inner corner. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer and I'm gonna be carving out the lid. I'm surprising myself right now. I didn't think it was gonna work out this good. Next, I'm gonna go and apply the lid color and I'm gonna be using Primavera and I'm gonna take the little flat side of the Q-tip. But first, to apply that, I'm gonna be spraying the Q-tip so it's wet and I can get the most foiled look out of that little gold eyeshadow. So when applying the shade, I'm going and just tapping this is heaven on earth. I'm gonna be taking a love letter right here with the little pointy side of the Q-tip and I'm gonna be doing my lower lash line now. So I thought doing my eyebrows was gonna be the hard part of this challenge. 
I think it's gonna be the eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the little Queenie tip and my Morphe gel eyeliner you guys pray for me if I was able to do my brows I better be able to pull this off I'm not about to mess up the makeup now and you guys I never ever 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 use gel eyeliner I'm shook at how we were able to pull this off. I'm so excited. Moving on to the face, I'm gonna start contouring since I already finished my eyes. This is the final look. I'm gonna be using some con rounds to apply my contour and I'm gonna be folding it basically in half like this. Yay! To apply my blush, I'm going to be using some cotton balls and these are going to be dry, not wet this time. So for my highlight, I'm going to be using a little tiny cotton ball and I'm going to be spraying just a little bit. Every time I do a new step, I'm always like hoping it doesn't mess up the makeup. Hopefully it doesn't. Yay, it's working. Last but not least, I'm going to be applying my lipstick. We're finally done. And this is the Pearl Lipsticks in the shade Dusty Rose. Alright guys, and that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned something new along with something that I used on this video is going to be able to help you if you do not own every sort of makeup brush that there is out there. You do not need expensive brushes to be able to create this makeup looks, so there's no excuses, girls. I've been thinking a lot about how I was going to be able to do this challenge and I didn't think that I was going to be able to pull it off this good because this is literally how I always do my makeup. So it came out really, really good, and I'm so happy that it did work out because I wanted this to be a practical video, even though it's a challenge, I wanted it to be useful for some of you. You guys know that my channel is all about beauty hacks, so you guys are able to use this as a beauty hack, and not just a challenge. But I do challenge my beauty influencers on YouTube to try this out and show me your looks, and if you're able to create a bomb, Leafy look with just cotton. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. If you want to be more in contact with me, you can follow me on my social media. I have Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I will leave those down in the description box for you. I want to thank you so much for watching. I love you so much, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.